Dan, thanks, and we're seeing that cleanup happening across the region after yesterday's flooding. One of the hardest hit areas was Port Clinton, where floods almost, almost stopped the wedding. But an extraordinary effort of friends, family, and caterers allowed the happy couple to tie the knot. 13 ABC's Kayla Molander is in Fremont tonight with the story. Kayla, good evening. Good evening, Josh. This wedding right here was under three feet of water just 24 hours ago. Fremont couple Jake Held and Becca Troutline planned to tie the knot yesterday in Port Clinton at Camp Perry. Now all the Anaton family was staying in the cabins there, and the entire place was flooded for the very first time in history. Now the caterers had to wade through three feet of water to rescue all the food and family had to all find other accommodations. But in the end, Jake and Becca did get hitched this afternoon here at the Elks Lodge in Fremont. One of the most important things about marriage is that you come together as a couple and you work together. And through the good and the bad and the ups and the downs, they keep moving forward and they don't give up. Now, a lesser couple, they might have given up and just headed down to City Hall, but not Jake and Becca. They were determined to have this day with 150 of their closest friends and family, and we are going to speak to the happy couple and some of those caterers and friends and family who stayed the day, and we'll have more on that coming up on Action News at 11. Josh? True love uh, conquers all. Caleb Olander, thank you very much. After having